Runway has released their latest AI video generation model, and it comes with some significant upgrades, including world consistency. After a week of discussing image generation, we are back over on the video side of the AI house as Runway has announced their new Gen 4 model. The company claims it's one of the highest fidelity video generation models to date, capable of incredible consistency in characters, locations, and objects across scenes, what the company is calling world consistency. In a blog post, they wrote, Gen 4 can utilize visual references combined with instructions to create new images and videos using consistent styles, subjects, locations, and more without the need for fine-tuning or additional training. Now, obviously, if this holds true, it completely changes the dynamics of what you can do as a filmmaker with Runway. And by filmmaker, I mean this in the new AI-enabled version of that term, which does not just mean people who make movies, but anyone who wants to use film or video as a creative medium. The examples they give of this character consistency are pretty spectacular. Even as someone who spends every day looking at this, I don't know that I would have identified this as AI if I had been presented with it in a different context. The other part of character consistency is that it allows for more dynamism when it comes to getting different angles on shots, giving people much more creative expression. Part of the upgrade in capabilities is that it's easier to use because this new Gen 4 model apparently understands language much better. And lastly, the company argues that they made serious strides in what is, of course, the Achilles heel for AI-generated video, which is real-world physics. They use fire, wind, water, shadows, and light to show the advances they've made in this domain. Overall, the model seems incredible. The big question remains whether standalone media generators will survive the next generation of LLM improvements. OpenAI and Google are pushing native multimodal architecture to add features like image generation to their standard LLMs natively, and you gotta think that the same thing is coming for video models. Still, when it comes to the here and now, as the old saying goes, a model available today is worth two on the roadmap, and a ton of people are excited to dig into Gen 4 right now. Runway is also reportedly looking to raise $450 million at a $4 billion valuation, so that question of competition obviously has some big financial implications. Next up, viral Chinese agent Manus AI has launched a fairly pricey subscription plan. The tool, of course, went viral last month, offering a state-of-the-art agentic assistant that could consistently execute tasks. The big constraint on the virality was Manus having to gate signups through an invitation system, most likely because they'd tapped out their compute resources. The new commercial release includes two tiers. One is $39 a month and one is $199 a month, with the more expensive option coming with five times as many credits and the claim that they can execute five tasks simultaneously. There is still free access, but it's going to have lower priority access to resources during peak usage times, which could honestly be all the time at this point. Manus is also now available as an iOS app. Now, Manus AI is still in beta, and there's still some question of whether it lives up to the initial hype, but there is no denying that it's captured a lot of attention, and the broader availability that this represents should help it get into more people's hands, both to see how good it actually is and to help it improve. Lastly today, AI Alexa is finally here, and they are taking the Apple rollout path. By which, of course, I mean that they've shipped the product without all the features. Amazon showcased Alexa Plus at a special unveiling event in late February. They showed videos of Alexa ordering takeout on Grubhub, generating stories to entertain kids, visually identifying people, and reminding them to do chores and brainstorm gift ideas. If you had to guess how many of those features were shipping on release, what would you say? I'll wait a minute to let you guess. That's right, for those of you who said zero, you are correct. Amazon said that these, quote, agentic features don't yet meet Amazon standards for public release. So what can Alexa Plus do right now? It can order an Uber, it can identify objects, it can draft emails, and it can search for particular products. An Amazon spokesperson said, we're releasing a bunch of features to start and we'll continue to launch new features in waves. Basically, the new AI-powered versions of Alexa and Siri find themselves in good company, completely under-delivering on what seems like obvious promises. Anyways, friends, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief Headlines edition. Next up, the main episode.